Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. And uh, day, is it six now, I think? <laughs> They're beginning to run into each other. Which is what happens when you get towards the, uh, at the end after many, many late nights. So today, um, I've basically been relaxing. I went by the pool for an hour or two. Uh, the free play and the point credit that I mentioned at the end of yesterday's vlog came and went with no bonus. Um, and I've just put uh, 200 of my own money through uh, a combination of quick hits, uh, Walking Dead and Mighty Cash for one bonus of 11 bucks. So I'm um, 200 bucks down as we stand. I think I'm gonna change and uh, go and gamble in a different property. Cause I, you know, I have had so much luck um, in Plaza. Uh, you know, I'm pushing it to, to win, a, win anymore. <laughs> So, we are heading down to uh, Golden Nugget for Herman's Hermits this evening. Very much looking forward to this. So we're going to have a few beers in there before the show at 8pm. It's Friday night in downtown Las Vegas and then I'll have Saturday night on the strip. So it's all very exciting. I will see you in Golden Nugget. So I've always been pretty uh, fond of Golden Nugget. And this, uh, as I've mentioned many times, was the place I first stayed at after the Stardust closed. But they've uh, developed it. They've always had those, or a bank of um, Wheel of Fortune machines on that back wall there. But I quite like what they've done with the bar area here at the front. Because that, I mean, that is relatively new. Probably a few years now, but certainly from when I, like, I used to stay here, this, this bar is, is new. But I've always quite liked, because the ceilings are very low in here and the slots are, are very tightly packed. Um, you know, you have to sort of work your way through them. You know, it, 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 for me, it always creates a good atmosphere. And this, this really is a quality property down here. There's no doubt about it at all. So I'm gonna grab a beer and we're gonna have a couple of hundred before the show. A double top dollar at Golden Nugget. I tell you, this machine could tell you a few tales. Everything's so faded, you can barely, you can barely make out what's going on. Plus, there's no sound. But uh, I won't let that deter me. I love double top dollar. Come on, give me a double up, double up. Twenty-five, no. Final offer. Here we go. Okay, yes, oh, there you go. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly why I play top dollar. So this is basically one back my 200 that I lost in Plaza. That is exactly why I play this game. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Delighted with that. Fantastic stuff. Okay, so we're on uh, Golden Bong, <laughs> chasing 862.52 Major. Uh, we're doing $5 versus 50 cents again, and I must admit, I thought it's going to be the 50 cent this time, but yet again, we have the Bong bonus at $5. So it took us about 60 odd to get it. Here we go. Give us a hold and spin, come on. Nothing there. So he jumps up in the bonus, even if you only get one square filled. What you tend to find with this game though, there is a lot that blocks each other. <laughs> As I said, look at that. That's a, that's typical. Okay, that might be quite good. Is it? No, not really. The, again, the bong sort of blocks it, doesn't it? So 26.70. Oh, no, that might be quite good. You've got the people there and then him. You would think that would be okay, actually. How much is that then? Three, two, one. A 68, excellent. Okay, and then we got the uh, plants. That's not so bad. So no hold and spin, sadly, but 119.70, which 
pretty standard for a five dollar bet really nice one mr bong man thank you very much so on uh, old school pinball and before you uh all put a message to say i haven't got my card in it's because that card reader doesn't work i have my card here and i would have put it in if i could but funny enough um i lost about 50 on another double top dollar so i was down to 250 you stuck this in and literally hit it on the first spin so here we go four Oh, actually yes, you can't... Oh, hang on. Oh no, it's there, sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Senior moment. Okay, it's ten bucks. Got four shots in total, three left, come on. Don't make it all tens. Eighty or a hundred would be awesome. Twenty-five is decent. Okay, final shot, come on. Okay, that's, that's not bad. 60 bucks. Okay, so I thought I'd play it down to 300 and I got it again. It's doing me well, this game. 40, awesome. I'll tell you what I've never seen on Pinball. I don't know if you watch the channels that, that typically play this. East Coast Slots is a prime example. But I have never seen anyone even get the hundred or the thousand up here. You get like one or maybe two, but no more than that. Can I have a Budweiser, please? Thank you. Budweiser, please? Budweiser? Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, it's really, I mean, it must be almost impossible to get all four in that bottom segment. I've never seen it even vaguely close. Having said all of that, on double top dollar, I've only ever got the uh, thousand once in 25 years, so. <laughs> Probably no better. Right, come on. Let's get 100 or an 80, that'd be awesome. Oh, I thought I was going in the 100 there. Final spin. That's a good one. 80 bucks. Sorry, 75 bucks. Can't count. Yeah, we're holding our own again now, thanks to the double top dollar win from a little while ago. Superb stuff. So my uh, tour of uh, buffalo failures of this week, I've resorted to the big buffalo machine. So I'm standing behind the chair. I have the bonus at a three dollar press. So this will be my, is it my fourth one of three dollars or above? And I think, yeah, I've not really won anything much. So uh, I lost 200 after the show in Gold Nugget. So I left there and also it was absolutely heaving in Gold Nugget and Fremont Street. I needed to get away from the complete noise. It, we, 
maybe I'm still not quite used to uh, weekends in uh, Fremont after lockdown and all that and stuff but anyway here we go let me just reach over here we go right come on this time give me a decent bonus for once an early re-trigger please I can't uh, keep reaching over to make the money go up quicker so you're just gonna have to watch this come on let's do it hopefully there's lots to count up <laughs> So yeah, 200 down, uh, got down to 40 on this third hundred. Come on, be trigger No. I'll be honest, I'm almost, almost at the point of giving up on Buffalo, because it really has, I've not had any luck at all so far. So that's eight bucks, which isn't great. It used to be a, a pretty much a go-to, the Buffalo goal. It really did. Come on. Oh. Final game. We desperately need a re-trigger. Or it's another disappointing one. That 30 bucks or so. Which, what they've all been, really. Crazy. 29 bucks. Absolutely awful. Again. So I took that money from uh, Buffalo Gold and went on Dancing Drums Explosion. I've not played this one. Uh, to be honest, I went, on, I went for it because the Mini was at 30, which is very unusual. So I guess people have been playing it for a while. 288 bets, got down to 35, 39. Here we go. Oh, 65, excellent, right. Come on, give me 15 would be a... Okay, three. <laughs> dream of 15 on that don't you very rarely happens right give me a re-trigger come on is there anything there a little bit hopefully you can see that I'm leaning back enough okay that's yeah that should be good that's 48 so that's 78 Okay, and that's good as well. That's what's that? 54. Okay, that's more like it. So 288 bet. Much more like it. 132.60. Fantastic. Actually, that was amazing. And actually, yes, I, I would say that's probably a semi-coin show. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Move from uh, that machine to the one next to it, and look at this. I was going to stop at 100 as well, and I've got the gold one of those. I don't know what that means. Does that do anything on this bonus thing? But look at this. I've got five drums plus the best symbol. Wow, that's 228, and we've not even had the free games. Oh my god. That's unbelievable. Right, it's gotta be a mystery pick, isn't it? Come on. Five five is perfect. Come on, give me uh five, five, okay fine. That's still good. Come on, do it. Nothing there. Oh no, there is there. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> That's 48 bucks. Wow. I just don't understand. At the moment, I just keep coming back to Plaza and winning. Come on. Close that pot up there. Close that pot. Yes, yeah, so obviously the, um, the wild thing doesn't make no difference unless the pot closes. I didn't realise that, to be fair. That's good. That's up to over 300. Wow. Okay, final game. Come on, give me a re trigger. Oh no, there's nothing there. Okay, 311.55 though. That is amazing. And that is a genuine uh, coin show. Fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, look at that screen. That I mean, that has a bit of everything. You've got the, the whole thing all the way across. Absolutely wonderful stuff. 
great graphics. <laughs> so yeah, we've, uh, we've we've completely turned it around. So an amazing result in uh, Plaza. Won all my money back. And that was an incredible bonus on Dancing Drums Explosion. <laughs> and I keep waiting for the, uh, the full-on major loss, and it doesn't seem to be happening, but, um, I mean, it's pretty busy in uh, Plaza and, and Freeman in general, because it's Friday night. And as I, as I mentioned before, it's, uh, I think I'm not used to post, well, it's not really post-pandemic, but pretty much everyone's back to normal, aren't they? For better or worse. Uh, and it's absolutely heaving on F Fremont Street tonight far more so than when I was last here in December so I've decided to escape uh, the noise and go down to Main Street Station because you know I fancy a few more uh, two dollar Wheel of Fortune presses a bit of home brewery I know it's going to be quiet down here <laughs> am I showing my age? probably <laughs> but no I've had, I've had a really nice night tonight with the, with the gig was great um, everything was great in plaza but I just fancy a bit of quiet time and we're coming to the end of six nights downtown and in a way it sort of feels like the end of the holiday not the holiday as a whole but the end of you know a, a really important portion of the holiday I mean, I just love it down here. I mean, look at that. And this has been a really... I mean, when I get on the strip, there may be a few meetups and stuff. And But I've had six days of pure solo travel. And I can't say I've had that in a long, 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 long time. A number of years. Four or five years, for sure. And I've really appreciated it. I, I, I don't know. I know some people are uncomfortable with solo travel, but to me it just... I don't know, it sort of confirms who you are as a person. That's just the way I sort of feel about it, I don't know. And if you're thinking of doing it, and I always get a lot of um, messages about solo travel. If you're thinking of doing it, and just do it. Do it. I think it's amazing. Anyway, I'm babbling. We go... <laughs> Into Main Street Station, we go. Okay, so we're back on the uh, Wheel of Fortune, two dollars a press. First hundred here, down to forty-one, then got the bonus. Here we go. Okay, hundred. Yes, that's okay. Very nice. Not bad at all. Put 50 in that one and uh, didn't get a spin, so I went onto Thank this one with 50 and hit it at 41, so it was clearly the right choice. So we'll give it a bit more time. So after that 100, I flipped back onto this one. Got the spin very quickly at 127. Here we go. That's okay again. 75. Very nice. Doubled our money. Well, it seems to be paying. Down to 194 and a third spin. I always just hope for not 25. Anything but 25 is fine for me. This will be okay, yeah, 40, okay, please. So Main Street Station, uh, not kind to me tonight in the end. I end up uh, 200 down. I've always been sort of chasing a couple of hundred. So it's time to move on. Enjoyed the uh, Wheel of Fortune, which is basically what I came in here for anyway. <laughs> so I, I think, I, I'll be honest, I, feel, I do feel quite tired. I think uh, the shenanigans of the last six days, well, the joke of it is it's, it's shenanigans on my own, but uh, you know what I mean. 
I just love the clash of the old school neon with the new. Look at that uh, California neon with the circuit. Love it. I'm certainly not going to Circa tonight. I will be back at Circa and we will have an almighty winning session in Circa. I'm absolutely determined of that. But yes, as I said, I've, um, I think I've hit a bit of a wall. Last night I was tired. Um, well, I say early, it's you know, 20 past 12. It's not that early. So I'm going to go back to Plaza, I'm going to have a, another 100, if I win with that I might have a, a bit more, if not I think maybe it's time for bed before we hit the strip in the morning for fight night, I need to be all guns blazing for that. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed this downtown city, I, I do sort of feel a bit sad that it's coming to an end really. I've really enjoyed these videos over the last six days. And actually, I think I've spoken to Colin about this and I've not spent this much time downtown versus the Strip, i.e. more time downtown than the Strip in a, in a trip before. And he says if he, ever, if he comes back, he will want to stay down here completely. And I totally get that. Um, I've absolutely loved it. There's been no... I've not missed anything about the strip at all, to be honest. Um, but, you know, each to their own. OK, so we're uh, back at Plaza and... Uh, I've never shown you the pots before I put the money in, have I? I mean, would you not put money in that? I'm gonna have to. That's ridiculous. How can someone leave it at that? This is gonna be an interesting experiment because you will actually see how much I put in against how much I win. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so this is very, very interesting. From what I said before, I am I have literally now put the best part of 500 into this machine. <laughs> if I churned the rest of the money I had in, I wasn't going to leave it and I've got both uh, blue and green pots closed that hasn't as yet but I'm guessing it may do well we'll see what happens here and this is I mean this really is the polar opposite to what happened yesterday where literally two spins later I got it so we need a decent bonus 440 bet five cent denomination here we go So 2150. You would like to hope that pot, I mean that pot is so bulging, it's ridiculous. Sixty-two, okay. Actually I think I think that's the best symbol you know for this game. Those, those, those I don't even know what it is. I have no idea what it is. Two, three more free games, okay. I may not win my money back, but at least I've got the, the bonus. Yeah, that's good. I mean, they are really lining up now. Yeah, no, that's good. This game, is, I don't know, it's sort of evil. Evil but nice. Combo. I can understand why it's popular. Ever since I first discovered it in September last year, I've kept coming back. I don't know. Despite some pretty bad uh, runs on it, that's 220. Come on. So, two free games to go. Three thirteen, okay. Wow. 
Okay, 338. Not the best. I'm still down money, but at least I got the bonus. I had to give it a go. It's very bizarre, this game. Very bizarre. That's coin combo, Hurricane Horse. Okay, so after uh, that nonsense, I decided to put the ticket into Pinball, but at five bucks a press. Sorry, five bucks a nomination at 15 bucks a press. So we got down to 550 from the ticket I took out. We got the pinball. This is good. Come on. Come on, we need some chunky ones here, big style. Come on. More than 15. Come on. Get an 80 or 100. Oh, 60 is awesome. That's awesome. 90. Times 5, of course. Come on. Final spin. Come on. That's 25. So that's 130. Times 5. <laughs> oh my word. Whew. Awesome. So another cracking day yesterday, um, fantastic evening. Herman's Hermits were absolutely superb. Peter Noon is a total legend. It was quite amusing really to see, I mean obviously this band is before my time really, but um, to see sort of uh, a number of US uh, senior citizens uh, <laughs> turning up in Union Jack blazers and waistcoats and things like that was quite amusing. And uh, there was a funny bit in the show actually where Peter Noon spoke to a lady in the audience. He said initially that back in the day, uh, the band used to have knickers thrown on the stage, <laughs> which, which is, as you know, is, was a common thing. And he said they still get it occasionally, um, but they're, the knickers are that much bigger now. <laughs> and then he spoke to this lady in the crowd um, halfway through the show, and she said, I'd throw my knickers uh, at you, but I'm not wearing any. But she was like 75 or something. It was so funny. Uh, but a very good show. Uh, hopefully you got a, a glimpse 
uh, of uh, some of their biggest hits, or certainly the ones that I know and like. Um, but I liked all of it. There was um, they did other '60s songs like uh, some Monkey stuff and Rolling Stones stuff and things like that. It was very good. It was very very good. Um, and then the gambling. Well, I spent most of the day sort of between level and 200 down. Um, so I, I tended to lose 200, win it back, lose 200, win it back, lose 200. Uh, w then when I went back to Plaza from Main Street, obviously I lost the five, it was between five and 600 I think I lost on that damn coin combo. <laughs> I mean, those pots were full, man. Um, I don't know. People say that it doesn't matter how full they are. I don't actually agree with that. I think it does. Um, I mean, it could be that those pots were fuller at a dif different denomination to the one I was playing or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't pretend to know. Um, actually, you can see the uh, roller coaster going up the uh, slide there, look. Um, anyway, so, yes, yeah, so, uh, basically, I, you know, I'd, I'd won... I'd, sorry, I'd lost, I'd lost, like, this 500. I was down to, what, 300, wasn't I? And that was from 1,000 that I had. Uh, I then went up to what 650 or 600 and something then took that onto the uh, pinball game um, and hit that 650 bonus which was incredible got the bonus quite quickly within 100 bucks at 15 bucks a, a press um, so that was I was then up sort of 200 I then lost about 300 so I th for the day I was I was down about 300 if you include um, the morning session I was down about 300 in total but it, again it was another sort of escape where it could have ended up so much worse, <laughs> but uh, thankfully it didn't. And I've now relocated to the strip. Uh, we've just been watching the Tyson Fury fight. Um, thoroughly enjoyed that. So um, there's going to be a few more. Um, I'm going to meet Gaz tonight. It's his last night in Vegas. I have to meet him on his last night. I can't let him go without having a night out. Um, so there'll be uh, a few guests tonight, uh, and then we'll get back to the solo stuff from tomorrow. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, um, and once again, thanks for all the support from the series. It has been uh, quite overwhelming, actually, and uh, I will get to all the messages on Facebook, Instagram, and the comments on the videos. I'm going to pay for Wi-Fi on the, on the plane home on, uh, on Tuesday, so I will certainly acknowledge all the messages and uh, respond if there's a question. Um, anyway, thank you ever so much, everybody. I'll speak to you this time tomorrow. Take care.